In this video, we will be analyzing the impacts of DNA fingerprinting on the disappearance of a win. On November 14th, Florida State football stepped off the field expecting to take home a win, but realized it had been stolen. They notified the police and luckily they were able to gather a hair from the field. This hair allowed for four potential suspects to be gathered. First was UNC who was last seen coming over the hill outside the stadium. Next was UNC's son, Duke, who was last seen standing in line at the concession stand. Next was Wake Forest, who was also seen standing in line with Duke. And lastly, there was NC State, who was last seen in the stadium going on about how they're the best. The police requested samples from each suspect in order to run a DNA fingerprint analysis with a hair that was found at the crime scene. The DNA was collected and amplified for two different loci, which were ran on two separate gels. This resulted in a DNA fingerprinting analysis gel that we can use to compare the sample hair collected from the crime scene, Florida State's DNA, and the four suspects' DNA. Assessing both loci will make it easier to see which suspect's DNA match up with the sample. If the suspect is guilty of stealing the win, their DNA will match the sample DNA perfectly at both loci. First, we can analyze the locus 1 results. Even though we know Duke is UNC's son, you can confirm this from the analysis because Duke has a lower matching allele, which is inherited from UNC, and the upper non-matching allele is inherited from the second parent. This pattern should be true in the second locus too. As for suspects though, Duke and NC State are definite suspects because both their alleles match the sample completely. The other suspects can be dismissed because their alleles do not match the sample. For locus two, as I stated before, you can confirm Duke is UNC's son by the single matching allele. As for suspects, we already dismissed Florida State, UNC, and Wake Forest because the alleles for Locus 1 were non-matching. Of the two possible suspects left, NC State is most likely guilty of stealing the win from Florida State because NC State's alleles are a complete match, whereas Duke's alleles are not. And with further investigation, NC State was in fact guilty of stealing a win from Florida State on November 14th. 